Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll explain you AC analysis of BJD. See to have AC analysis of BJD, there are basic two steps that we need to follow. In first step, we need to find AC equivalent circuit. And in second step, we need to replace BJT by equivalent model. So to have AC analysis of BJT, there are two steps that we need to follow. In first step, we need to have AC equivalent circuit. And in second step, we need to use equivalent model of BJT. Let me explain first how to have AC equivalent circuit. See, to have AC equivalent circuit, we need to provide short circuit to all the DC sources. And we need to short circuit all the capacitors connected in circuit. Why should we short circuit capacitors? That even I'll explain in this video. But first of all, you need to understand one thing. See, in first step, we need to find AC equivalent circuit. And to have AC equivalent circuit, we need to replace all the DC sources with short circuit as well as we need to short circuit all the capacitors which are connected in the circuit. In second step, we need to replace given BJT with equivalent model. There are three major equivalent model available nowadays. See equivalent model of BJT can be of hybrid model, it can be of RE model or it can be of hybrid PI model. See to understand this model. I'll explain you this by separate videos. In this video, I'm going to explain you how one can have AC equivalent circuit of BJT. As I have told you, to have AC equivalent circuit, we need to short circuit all the DC sources. That is quite understandable. Why the reason is, we want to do AC analysis. For AC analysis, we need to short circuit all the DC sources. But why should we short circuit capacitors? See with AC signal, capacitors impedance is very low. You can say it is short circuit. Let me explain you how. See when it comes to when it comes to impedance of capacitor that is XC. So that is 1 by 2 pi FC. Now here if you talk about DC signal, if you talk about DC signal, then with DC signal frequency is 0. If frequency is 0, you can say Xc that is 1 by 0 means it is infinite. What it means? You can say this impedance is open circuit impedance. Infinite means open circuit impedance. If you talk about AC signal, if you talk about AC signal, then you will be having some frequency, right? It is not 0. Some frequency will be there. So Xc that is 1 divided by higher value. 1 divided by higher value means lower value. Lower value means you can say short circuit. Ideally it can be short circuit. So here see for AC equivalent circuit what we will be doing is we will be short circuiting all the DC sources as well as we will be short circuiting capacitors connected in the circuit. Once we do that, we will be having AC equivalent circuit. With that circuit, there will be BJT. That BJT that we will be replacing by equivalent model in second step. Right. But first we need to find AC equivalent circuit. Let me take one example. Here, if you talk about voltage divider bias circuit, then this is the basic circuit. With this circuit, you see we have VCC that is DC supply. This C1 and C2 these are coupling capacitor. This C3 that is bypass capacitor. Right. So for AC equivalent circuit what we need to do? We need to short circuit all the DC sources and we need to short circuit all the capacitors. So here we need to short circuit this VCC as well as we need to short circuit this C1, C2 and C3. After that we will be having AC equivalent circuit. Right. So here as if you want to short circuit VCC, all you will be doing is you will be connecting this terminal to ground now. Right. And with this terminal, you see we are having R1 resistance over here. Then we have RC resistance over here. After that we have BJT over here. 
then you see r2 resistance connected over here here we have input and this is what c1 that we are short circuiting over here right then you see this re that is getting shorted by r3 now so now you don't need to connect re over here and here we have ground and you see from collector output is taken and this c2 that is short circuit now right so that is how basic circuit that we can have now with this basic circuit further simplification that we can do you can observe here this is ground here also we are having ground so let me redraw this circuit so here you see we have v in after v in see this r1 that is connected with ground so here i am connecting it r1 that is connected with ground this r2 is also connected with ground at input side so here r2 that is also connected with ground right we are connecting it with ground then you see here at base we are having transistor and then we are having collector terminal from collector terminal we are taking output so we are taking output from here right and you see this rc that is connected with ground so here we have rc from collector that we are connecting it with ground and you see from emitter directly we are connecting it with ground so this emitter that is connected with ground directly right so that is how basic circuit that we have now this transistor that we need to replace by equivalent model of transistor to have ac analysis it could be hybrid model it could be re model or it could be hybrid pi model here with this circuit further simplification that is also possible like you see r1 and r2 these two are in parallel so here see all we can do is we can have input over here v in then let us say here we have let us say here we have r dash this r dash is how much r1 parallel r2 means it is r1 r2 divided by r1 plus r2 then you see here we have transistor this emitter is grounded here we are having v out here we are having v out and here we are connecting rc resistance right here we are connecting rc resistance so that is how equivalent circuit that one can have this is ac equivalent circuit with this circuit this transistor that we need to replace by equivalent model for ac analysis that is how basic steps that you will have to follow right here i have explained you first step only that is to identify ac equivalent circuit second step that is to use equivalent model of bjt so for hybrid model re model and hybrid pi model in future coming videos i'll be explaining you all those models in great details right i hope you have understood how we can have ac analysis still if anything that you like to share please note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video